As the Scottish Cup weekend approaches, Philip Clement was in his press conference and of course, Willie Collum is returning to the big, big one, Ibrox. He's returning to referee a Rangers game for the first time since the old firm game at Parkhead at the end of last year. And uh, Philip Clement says he's happy Willem, Willie Collum will referee Rangers tomorrow and reveals he wasn't part of discussions requesting he isn't involved in their games going forward. And uh, before we get into his quote there that we, you know is quite the thing, I mean, nothing's, nothing was ever going to come of that, right? And to be honest, you know, you look at it, I mean, there's, there's been no... I mean, the SFA pretty much shut it down straight away. The audio released for the Alistair Johnson handball, to me, it's dead and buried. Let's just move on. I get it, right? I thought it was a joke at the time. I still think it is, but Rangers, we got to are talking on the field, right? Let's just win this league and shut them up. It's as simple as that, you know? Let, let, let's, let's win the league, Right? beat Celtic, title 56, and see at the end of the season we'll be like, aha, we beat you even with all those decisions that went against you. And I tell you what, there's been a lot of decisions against Celtic this season. And also, see this guy, Big Stevie Cool, I don't delete comments. See if you're in the comments, right, and your comments know there. See if you actually switch it for top to newest, your comment will likely appear, and any ones that don't appear is simply just YouTube not showing them due to foul language, right? I'm not a shite bag. See, when it comes to reading out comments, I'll read what's ever in the comment section. Now, yeah, I'll admit there's some times where there's a poll and there's just it's just constant back and forth about zombie this, pedo that, and I mean, it's sometimes I'm all for the rivalry. I just cannot be arsed reading that wasting 10 minutes a back and forth between two people in the comment section i hope that makes sense but anyway thought i'd address that because some granddad is out there just you know finding out about technology in the 21st century but anyway let's move on to the 21st century and stay in it because it's 2024 and philip clement has come out and said and i quote when there is one moment i think a referee is not neutral then i would directly quit my job end of quote well it looks like it's goodbye to philip clement he had a good reign as the 18th manager of Rangers Football Club. I believe it's 18th, but it looks like 19th. It's probably going to go to Kevin Muscat. But in all seriousness, I don't know if I like that for Clement. Like, obviously it's him saying, you know what, if I think it's there's corruption and I think the referee's not neutral and he's pro properly sabotaging Rangers or anyone else in the league, he's saying he will step aside, he would quit his job, I don't, I don't know if I'm a big fan of that talk. I mean, to me, that's like shite baggy. Like, I get it, right? No league in the world or football. I mean, obviously, there's been a lot of corruption in world football, you know, over the years. But I would like my manager to be like, you know what? I'll call it out and I'll, you know, I'll back the club's decision on calling it out. He's kind of like, went, well, you know what? I'm just going to leave. It's it's kind of like, I, I, I don't even know. I don't know. It's kind of like bottling it, in my opinion. That, that's, the, that's the terminology I would say for Philip Clement here. I'm not going to take away from his job as a manager, and I get it. But at the end of the day, I would rather him actually call it out if it happened, rather than quit his job, because that could leave us in a bad situation. I get it, right? It's never, ever going to happen. As much as some fans think, and you know, other fan bases think that there is corruption. You know, I made a video yesterday saying capital corruption. Of course, there's no literal corruption. But what I would say is, I think, I think the refereeing's a joke. It is. It's a disgrace. And you know what? Maybe some referee. Obviously, referees have you know bias towards certain sides. I do think that, right? Even though that kind of contradicts what Philip Clement said. I mean, if you support a team and you're a referee, and I think you're always going, but I mean, you, you should have the faith in the referees that they're going to you know call it straight in the middle. But you look at some of the decisions over the years, and hell, yeah, Rangers have benefited from decisions against teams in this league. Celtic have benefited. There's other teams in the league that have benefited, right? You just feel like to be. I think it's. I think it's a certain level of naivety to think that there ain't been situations down the years that haven't been swayed by bias. I think you, you you'd be kidding yourselves. You'd be like Ned Stark in Game of Thrones. I mean, that's the level of naivety you'd be dealing with here. You know, thinking you're going to be able to take away Joffrey and the Lannisters because oh, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt, benefit of the doubt, benefit of the doubt, Cersei. I'm not going to tell Robert till you're out of King's Landing. No, 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 no. We know. We're all in King's Landing. If you get the reference, fair play. If you don't, I'm not going to judge you. But anyway, guys, match preview will be up later. What do you think of this comment for Phil? Come on. Did he bottle it? Or is he just right? Leave it down below. But yeah, Air United later on tonight, uh, the preview. And then, of course, tomorrow is the game. Looking forward to it. It shall be fun. Saturday night, cup action. Till next time. Peace.